Today I had a special request from Bernice to make sharks. I think she had another request and I forget exactly what it was, but I definitely drew out some sharks that we're gonna work on today. And without further ado, I will flip the screen and we will get started. So as always, you guys can tell me if my stuff is centered on the screen. I'm gonna come around and pull up the video on YouTube and so I can see you guys pull it up on my computer and see if I can see stuff. So let me just see YouTube and live. There's a section for live streams. If you guys didn't know, and I will pull it up now. Hi, Sharon, you're the first one here. I am going to also skip the ads. I'm not sure why they play ads on from on my end, but um, I guess they just throw the ads up all the time. Oh my goodness, five, four, three, two, one. Skip ad. Hi, Ellen, how are you? Good, you can actually see my uh, table, so that's great. So today we're making sharks. I had a special request from Bernice. So I did a bunch of drawings. I usually put these templates in description after the fact so it takes me a couple of days and then i'll put uh, up the the um, templates that you can download in the etsy diy shop and um this one i thought was super cute this was an idea from canva i have a canva pro account so you can find all kinds of graphics and things and i try to translate them into wire so that's the challenge and then some of them are my original drawings as well and different ideas so i would like to do one with beads and I'd like to do some other ones. So I am just, and this is cute too, just with a frame with the shark fin in a circle. So I definitely won't get them all done, but I do want to try some. So I will start, I think I'll stick with 20 gauge wire to start. It's sort of a good average size wire. So I'm going to get that and oh, nice. Uh, so world peace is my sister, Kristen. Hi, Kristen. How are you? And we have Trisha here, awesome. And I will just go ahead and take one of the ends of these wires and we're just gonna go for it as always. So hope I'm gonna grab out the right end of this one. Boy, oh no, that one I wanna keep fixed in place. I just wanna find, oh, here's the end that I want. It's cause you don't want these uh, wires to go flying. So I will pull out I don't know how much wire. I always prefer to get too much than too little. So I will pull out about, looks like two feet of wire. Everybody always asks me how much wire I use and I don't always measure, but I always cut too much than too little. I also wanted to say that I am doing currently a 10 day bookmark making challenge on my art channel. Uh, my sister Kristen is participating in that. I'm just gonna quickly show you that and then I'll link it up in the description below. So these are some of the pieces from the 10 day challenge. This was day one with the watercolor silhouette. So if you guys like art and wanna join that channel, you can definitely join that. So these were from day one. Oh, I'm missing one, but that's okay. So these were silhouettes from day one of the 10 day bookmark challenge. So I'll put those over there and then day two, was these ones here with the botanical bookmarks and I have a I bought a laminator so I laminate the bookmarks so that's day two and so fun I'm glad you're having fun with it and then this is day three with the illuminated letters so if you guys want to participate in the bookmark challenge just go hop over to Heather Boyd art and you'll see it there and without further ado let's get back to our sharks so which one do we want to do i don't want to do one that's too big either and i wouldn't mind to i should just start with a simple one maybe i'll do that i'm going to hold this wire at the side i'm going to start with a simple one so i'll actually get a smaller piece of wire i like to work my way out pretty talented thank you i have a lot of fun with the art that's for sure um i've been so busy with the paint pouring ah fun that's awesome paint pouring is fun so much fun. So I actually don't have the materials to do paint pouring. I did them at my friend Patricia's house, but uh, 
it's a lot of fun for sure. So I'm just gonna cut about 12 inches of wire, which is also way too much. But what I wanna do is I'll probably finish at the top so we can put a hook in there. And either you can do your own shape for the, for the, uh, the um, how do you say, the shark, or you can trace it. So if we're gonna trace the template, we can just go in here and we're going to do the nose first. We go this way. And if Bernice comes on, I'll ask her what was the other thing she asked for because I think it was a hammerhead shark as well or something. I'm not sure. Oh, I, I've already bent the wrong one. I want this one to go on top. I want the short one on top, so I'll make that one a little bit longer. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna bring that. I wanna make sure my hands stay on. Maybe I'll bring that one down a little closer to me. And also, I feel like I can move this out a little bit more. Sorry, I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit my direction more. Oh no, that's worse. That's worse, okay. Let's bring it back that way. There, maybe that's better. So I think that's gonna be better. I think so, okay. I'm not very well centered here. I might have to adjust my position a little bit more. So let's bring this one around here. Now I feel like I have to, so it takes me a while to get the right position. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more. That's better, yeah, okay. Oh, I could really bring it more. It's, it's funny, eh? the, the, ca the camera on my iPad, pad is in a weird position. That's why I'm not very well centered. I think we're good now. So let's just do this. Take this one down. Now I know. And we're going to bring that one around. Hi, Amber. So if you guys don't know, Tree Sap Girl is Amber. She's one of the moderators on my channel. Nice to see you. And Mirta is here. Hello, Mirta. And I'm going to take this. We're just doing the shape of the shark. And hopefully Bernice will make it because she asked for sharks. So I'm gonna get my round pliers here. I'll do with how many I can. I definitely will not get around to doing all of them, but I'll do what I can today. And then like I did with the horses previously, I did a whole bunch of tutorials for the horses after the fact, after I'd done the live stream. So I think I did two live streams with the horse and then all kinds of tutorials as well. So the horses were fun. You guys give me all kinds of really cool requests. So if ever you have requests for things you want me to do on the live stream, let me know. Next week I'm gonna be making monkeys. So that'll be fun. Haven't you all always wanted a monkey? <laughs> let me know in the comments if you know the reference for that. Uh, there we go. We're gonna bring this one in here and Bring this one up here and around. Sometimes it's easier just to do it freehand, but I'm just going to follow the pattern the best I can and bring this one around. And uh, maybe sharpen up that, that bend. If you wanna sharpen the bend, you go in with the flat pliers and just pinch it a bit and push it with your thumb. That sharpens it up a little bit more. I'm not gonna do any eyes or any that type of detail on here because I want to fill it in with beads. So we're gonna bring this one up and around. And then this one here, you can decide where this has to be and bring this one say around here and bring that one around and over here we're gonna take this and let me know in the comments if you're participating in the 10 day bookmark making challenge. And I've been posting some photos in the community section of that channel. So you guys can see what the viewers are making and you can join the Facebook event page, which is uh, the 10 day art bookmark making challenge. And you can share pictures of your work, which is fun. So this one maybe has to be a little bit smaller. I think I made that one a little bit big. So we're gonna just bend that out and bring, bend that up a little bit more. Okay, so there's that. And then this one, 
I'm not sure if this was the best way to finish it because usually what I do is, hmm, I know what I'm gonna do. I, I think I'm gonna finish it there instead. I'm gonna try something different. You can add a separate wire there, but I actually think I'm gonna finish it slightly different. I'm going to bring this one this way. I'm going to do a loop to the back so we can hang this up. So this one, I'm, I'm just backpedaling a little bit. So I'm making a loop so that will be able to hang up your pendant or earrings. I'm gonna bring this one around to the back and again around to the front. This is where I troubleshoot ideas. I think this is gonna be better because otherwise this is gonna flip all over the place when I try to close it. So that way we have the fin there already and then we're gonna just trace back this shape. I'm gonna put that there. So about here, we're gonna bend that one out that way. So that'll be that. And then at about this position, we're gonna bend that. So this one I could distort again. I can just, I'm just going to straighten this wire out because we end up want to finish it in the mouth a little bit. So we're gonna see how this flies. We're gonna bring this one in. See if we're gonna be able to attach it. We're gonna see. So, hi, Kathy. Nice to see you. So we're gonna bring this one in here. And then this one would be here. And then the idea, this is the one we're gonna finish off. So where the mouth starts, we're gonna do it to the front, I think. So wherever the mouth starts in the crease there, I'm going to bend this one up I want the mouth to be big enough too. So we're gonna bend that one up and then this one is gonna come behind. And from there, this will be underneath. And it, yeah, it should be a little shorter. So we're gonna hold this and form this, the round part. Like I say, it's my little hack to just start the bend with the round pliers. Hold this in place. Oh, we might have to hold it with the pliers. I think it's gonna be slipping so we're gonna hold that here and then just give that a little tug so it looks it's hard to see but it looks a bit like that so now pinch it in a bit clip this let's clip it and every time i say clip it i think of mustafa and he's been so busy we haven't had a chance to see him so Hopefully he'll come back when he's got some time off school. I'm gonna maybe trim that a little bit more. It's hard to access. I'll just pinch that down. So there is, looks a little bit wonky, but that's gonna be how it's gonna be attached here. And then this one, I'm gonna hold this with the pliers and just bend it straight back. Okay, so this is gonna be where we add our beads. And for that, I have my favorite beads. And I wanna alternate colors. So if we start, say with this six millimeter, and then we wanna get, oh, I don't have any offhand. Maybe we'll have to do the cat's eye beads because I don't seem to have any purple miracle or um, turquoise large miracle beads up handy so let's do this we're going to do the six millimeter cat's eye bead and then the eight millimeter cat's eye bead i'm not even sure if they're really the right color i could i might have to i could also go for light blue but i think i'm going to stick with these and we're gonna do another six millimeter. This one's a little strange. I don't know why that one's a little bit wonky. Not quite the same thing. So let me just see if I have another cat's eye bead, turquoise. I'm not sure, oh, I see one. Yep, there we go. Oopsies. So let's try this one. So we're gonna do this one and then this one. Oh, see the color's a little off. Hmm. 
Okay, that's all right. So I'm gonna just see if there's another, another one. Probably not. I think I'll just make do with what I have. So we're going to start this one, this one, this one. I have more miracle beads elsewhere, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. And then I have a bunch of four millimeters. So let's take the four millimeters on there. See how many we're gonna need. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of cool. I don't know if I love it, but uh, let me just see. I'm gonna put another one. Love it or list it. Who has seen that show? We've been binge watching HGTV and there's a show called Love It or List It. And I remember I only used to ever watch those when I went to hotels because we never had a cable TV, but um, now it's all, all that stuff's on YouTube. So I've been watching Love It or List It. So I'm actually going to pull this back because I realized that I want to start with a four millimeter bead. So let's do that. Let's put a four millimeter. You know what I'd be really nice with spacer beads too, that they're not just like that. Let me just see if I have some spacer beads. Might be more pretty with that. Let me see where I had them. May as well experiment because that's why we're here, is to experiment with different designs. So I have all my necklace making stuff in here, including the tiger tail, the crimps, the beads, all kinds of stuff. So I'm just going to pull some of those things out and see if I could find the spacer beads. Love it or list it. <laughs> it's funny. The one I'm watching currently is called Help I Wrecked My Home. And it's also on HDTV on YouTube. But the, the fun thing about watching it on YouTube is all the episodes are condensed into 10 minutes each. So you don't have to watch the whole show. You can watch a one hour show in 10 minutes, which is awesome and um, saves a lot of time. And you get right to the crunch to see the actual finished results. So, so I prefer to do that because my attention span isn't the best. So now we're gonna try this with spacer beads and see how it looks. Hi, Trisha. Looks like a real shark. Woo, cool. So let's just put these spacer beads and see how we like them. I kind of like the spacer beads. I think it gives it a bit of a more finished look. So let's try that and see. So I started with a four millimeter and then six and then eight and then now back to six and then i think we might be able to finish with two fours and then we might be done so let's have a look at that see how it looks i'm going to put that on there and oh it looks cool i like it maybe even a maybe even one more we're gonna see let's see if we can get away with one more and see how it looks so let me get rid of these beads because they're just in the way now. We're gonna put this one on here. And do we see Bernice yet? Not yet, she might be busy. I should have told her I was doing a shark. Okay, so here are the beads. So that's with three at the end, and this would be with two at the end. I think I like three. So let's do that. And we can maybe move this over a little bit. And then this one, of course, you have to attach to the intersection on the tail. So we're going to do that now. We're going to take this, bring that one around. I don't know if I can twist it around or just bend it to the back. Might be cleaner if we could just bend it to the back without actually twisting it. But to hold it in place, I might have to twist it through. So let's go ahead, take this and twist it through once just to hold it in place because if we just bend it to the back it might not hold so we're gonna do that Shoma hello looking pretty awesome thank you so we're gonna pinch that little guy push that one in oh and don't forget guys tomorrow I'm going live on the beetle on Facebook page at 2 p.m. Eastern time and I'll be making things with the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. So if you want to 
like their page and uh, click the notifications. You'll be notified when I go live on Facebook. And um, you can ask any questions about jewelry making and the jig and all that type of thing. So that'll be fun. So here's our first one. And you can curve it out a little bit more if you want. You can maybe space these out a little bit more. But that's the idea to do a shark, stylized shark with the beads. So that was the original drawing. And then this is how it looked like that. So sky's the limit. You guys can adjust these designs as you want. But that is our first one. Aitza, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Kalindo, that means beautiful. Thank you so much. So now, this one I'm dying to make this shark with the um, with the letters, but I think I'm gonna try some other ones first. So one of these type of ones with the teeth, I like. I kind of like this guy, the way he's around like that. Let's try this one and see how we do. So now I'm gonna go back to my big piece of wire. I like the spiral template. Yeah, so that was that would be a good one to do too. So same idea, they outline and then you fill it in with spirals. I think there's a lot you can do with that. So let's go ahead and do this guy. Uh, this is a, basically, I think I'm starting down here and then this wire gets attached there and one goes up and then one goes around there. So let's go ahead and start down here so we don't run out of wire and I will get this guy and just leave a little bit of wire here and then just start tracing it so you want to turn your template around as you go we're going to get this one and we're just going to go for it so around here I have two papers on there I don't need them both and we will take this guy and bend it around and turn the jaws. Yeah. Yeah, that was when I was, I think when I was, a, I was a kid when jaws came out. I'm pretty sure I wasn't allowed to see it in the theater. I think I was too young, but uh, my sister probably went to see it in the theater, my older sister anyways. Um, I don't think Kristen would have seen it in the theater. You, you let me know if you did, Kristen, but I think we were really young when that came out. Somebody could Google what year Jaws came out because I don't remember. In fact, I don't know if I ever even saw it after the fact. It's not my type of movie and I probably would be super cheesy right now, but uh, who knows. So now to do these little teeth, it's gonna be tricky to get in those. Let me try to find some finer pliers because that's a really fine spot to be in. And I do have the small pliers. I have the tweezer nose pliers from Beetle On. I just have to find them. Here they are. No, those aren't them. Let me just see if I can find them. Because I have all kinds of other pliers in here. But I don't know if I put them in here. Not no, those aren't them. That's weird, because I have flat pliers. I have the cutters. Those are round pliers. Oh my! I probably had them out for something, but now I'm not sure where I put them. So let me just look in here. Get them out. Oh yeah, here they are. There they are. So these are the tweezer nose pliers from Zeron. These are good ones. Uh, most of them under the covers. <laughs> Shown, I love it, thank you. So now, let's go ahead and get this guy and do our, where are we? Oh, we're doing our teeth. Okay, so got our tweezer nose pliers. We're just gonna take this and bend it. It's a little hard to get them super sharp, but we're gonna do our best and then bring that one around and then another one another tooth if you were making this larger it would be easier to get big pointy teeth but because i'm making it quite small for a pendant it's a little bit tricky so we're going to go like that around there pull this one up and Curve it around a bit. 
they ended up being a little small now, but we're just gonna do our best here. Bring this one around. Just working out the design, really, and then you guys can can do what you like with it. Uh, over here, I'm gonna bring that one around. Yeah, cause I'll, I will put the templates, a link to the templates in my Etsy DIY shop, but it takes me a couple of days to put them together and to get all my photos together and stuff. So you can find images on Canva, which is where I got a lot of these images that I transformed into wire art ideas and even Google images and stuff of sharks clip art, things like that, Pexels, Pixabay. There's all kinds of sites you can get uh, images and you can draw your own, of course. And here, this one goes here. So this one, and we'll do another one. And we're gonna do three teeth on the top. I think these are ending up being a little bigger than the ones on the bottom, but like I said, I'm just working out the designs so you guys have an idea of how to do it. And then you can take the parts of these live streams that you like and combine them with your own ideas as well. So we've got the teeth, which I think are cool. So there, that's not too bad. And then we're going to bend this straight up curve this one around. Hi Karen, I haven't learned how to find images yet. So uh, yeah, if you Google search, the best way to Google search images, if you go on Google and you click shark line drawing or shark clip art or shark outlines, there's all kinds of keywords you can use on Google to find images. And um, I use Canva, which is a free site. Canva, you can use Canva. It's free. Canva.com. And what I usually do is open up an eight and a half by 11 word page or Canva page. And I find images on Canva in the graphics department section. And I print them out and then I trace them in a way that they'll be doable in art. So you have to, or in wire art. So you have to think in terms of one continuous line and most of these I've done in that way that I see where the where the wire starts, I continue it, and then I see where it ends. So, but because I've been doing this a long time, I I know how to do that, and that's why I put I do put together some templates in the in my Etsy shop. But it takes a while. It's they're not they're not always available the day of the live stream. Sometimes it takes me months. Sometimes it takes me hours. It just it really depends. And if you know how to draw, for sure you could draw your own. So that's always helpful if you know how to draw. So we're gonna take this and we're just working our way around here. Kind of like the direction I'm going with this. We're gonna bring this, this is 20 gauge wire. So it's a little thin for the size, but it's all right, it's not too bad. So we're gonna do this and bring this one across here and down. So now, again, we're going to twist this, hold it in place, make sure I'm staying on camera, and wind this around. There we go. Perfect. That looks good. And we're gonna bend that one around here. Mm -hmm. And this way. There we go. So that's pretty good. Take that one, that one. Wait, and we're going to bend this whoop, and around. You can use a round form or you can just form it with your finger. There's Bernice. Hey, Bernice. Um, this is for you. You asked for sharks. So uh, you also asked for something else, but I forget what it was. You, you asked for sharks. Maybe you asked for hammerhead sharks as well, but tell me what else you were asking for. So if you guys don't know, Itsy Bitsy Imaginarium is Bernice, and Bernice was the winner of Live Wires for the Win season two, which was awesome. Tim was the win winner for season one, and I will be putting out a call for entry for season three sometime in the spring, if anybody would like to participate. And 
win great prizes. And this year it was fun. I got trophies for the winners and uh, super fun. I've been having fun with that. And it was inspired by a series called Work of Art, which was a Bravo TV series where they found, um, they had art challenges every week. And then the winner got a show at the uh, Brooklyn Museum of Art. And I went to see the show one year. It was super fun. So an exhibition, I mean, not a show. So now we're going to keep going with this. Try to get these ends as pointy as you can. Bring this one around. We're going to bring this one here. And so much yet yeah, was a hammerhead shark. Okay, so we'll have to uh, adjust the design for a hammerhead shark. Not today though, we're gonna just work on these ones and we could do that another day. Oh, here comes the sun. So now we want to bring this one around and connect the wires here. So we will put this one in place and I am going to bring this one in a little bit more, bend that and zoop, bring it around. And then we have to decide where we're gonna start this pin. So that's there, this is here. Looks like it gets bent up around here. So I am going to bend that up at a right angle, right at that intersection here. I'm gonna bend that up at an angle. So it's like a good sharp right angle. This wire is way too long. I definitely did not need two feet of wire for this. I would have been good with about 15 inches, I think. So now we are gonna take this guy, position it how it looks, how you think it looks good. Maybe I would like that a bit. I don't know if this is exactly like that template or not, but pretty good. And then we're gonna take our round pliers and we're gonna help it out. This is my little hack so we don't distort it. So you give it a good little push there. I'll remove that for a sec. I'm actually gonna grab a little sip of water. That's better. All sharks, yay. Great white, I think that's what you said, a great white. So is this a great white shark? I don't know what this is. I just typed in shark and got lots of images, but this you, this might be a great white shark. Hammerhead shark uh, would be interesting looking. Not quite as graceful looking, but could be interesting. And we are going to do that. So this is what we have so far of this shark. Cool design. And now we want to do this part with the, what are these, the gills and then the eye and then that. So now for that, we want to hold this and bend that back. And then we're going to curve that out here. So this part is here. And then we want to make this into this is going to represent another fin here. So we're just going to take that and bend it on a nice sharp angle and curve it around here. Okay, we're going to curve that guy around and check it out here. Can just bring that in a little bit and here. Yeah. And then from here, we're going to do these little gill things or whatever you call those. There's probably a name for that. I'm not quite sure what it is. So I'm going to bring that one in there, bring that in there. And at about this position, maybe here. Let's see if that's about right. Um, that's pretty good. So at about here, we're going to take this and bend it up. It's also going to curve around a little bit and we just want to bend it back and forth. So you could bend it back. If you want it to look like a really sharp line, we could bend it back on itself. So let's take this and just bend it back, hold it and bend it back on itself here. And then you can actually get your round pliers Bring it around, curve it around, and then take this one, bring it around, 
and curve it again. So we're just making these gill-like things. And again, we're gonna bend it towards the front, bend it back on itself. So it makes a sharp bend. That one ended up being a little short, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I don't wanna bend it too, too much back and forth or it's gonna break. And this wire is also very long. So we're gonna take this one again, curve it out and bend this back on itself. There we go. Perfect. Dinosaurs. Yeah, dinosaurs are fun. I did many dinosaurs when my nephews were young. I used to do dinosaurs for them. And I've done dinosaur crafts and all. I've done a stuffed dinosaur out of polar fleece. So dinosaurs uh, would be fun to do, to do some dinosaurs. I don't know if I've done them on the live stream out of wire, but I've definitely done my share over the years. So we're gonna bring this one around here and I should dig up some of my old pictures of all the old stuff I used to make. I used to photocopy earrings in back in the day before digital cameras and, and all that type of thing. So I used to bring my jewelry to the photocopy shop and just photocopy them. So now we're going to, and then I made catalogs with all the images. So that was quite the process. Things are much easier now with home printers and scanners and stuff. So now we're gonna take this, and I'm trained as a graphic artist, so I knew how to do a lot of those layouts and stuff like that. So we're gonna bring that one here and then bring this one up. And then from here, we do wanna do a little eye. So I would say around that position, let's just grab it and bring that up. So we're gonna do an eye. Eye doesn't have to be super big, but we're gonna, let's just start it and then see if we have to adjust it a bit. So that's here. So yeah, looks like it's in a good position. So we're gonna take that and, oh yeah, I have so many images of all my past crafts and stuff. I kept a lot of them, like the actual crafts and stuff. And then at one point I was just like, I have, I can't keep all this stuff. So now that's super cute. It turned out almost exactly like the drawing. I like when that happens. And we're going to take that. This wire is quite soft, but it's at least for the practice ones, it's good. Wow. That's awesome. I like that. So then we're going to bring this one back here and we're going to help this little bend with the pliers, bring it to the back, make sure that's in a good position. I think that's good. You can almost bend it a little bit more. And now, Trisha, hi. Aw, thank you, that's so sweet. Looks amazing, thank you. So now we are going to clip that little end we don't want it to be too big and we're going to take this it's nice to have the design worked out because that way it's easier for you guys if you want to make it you know where to where to start the wire and all that type of thing so there's that one i'm going to just take the end roll it in you just roll it in there to to hold it in place and give it a little pinch so it'll stay in that intersection and there, oh my goodness, let's bring this up so you guys can actually see it. So here's the shark, turned out really well. And I will put photos in the community section so you could see them better. It's hard to see with the glare, but that's that. So we've done two, we've done that one and that one. Let me take another sip of water and I can do one more. So uh, which one do we do? We've done, oh, I love this one so much, but I think that one might be a little trickier to do. I might work on that one um, another time. It might take a while. This one's cool with the frame. This one's cool too. So uh, Bernice, which one do you want me to make next? So you let me know. Sharon says looks super cool. Thank you. And Mirtha too. Awesome. Thank you. So yeah, Bernice, which one should I make next? And then that'll be it for today and I'll do some more another day. So you, you let me know which one you like and I will prep some other wire. Maybe I'll make it in gold. I'll grab some gold color. 
got 20 gauge and 18 gauge. The top left, this guy. Okay, so we could do that guy and see, he's a little similar to that one, but different enough. So let's do that one. And I'll just do them in 20. I think it's gonna be easier. Yes, thank you, awesome. And uh, if you want it more solid, make it with 18 gauge, but I will do with the 20 gauge. It's very soft, actually. Maybe I should do it in black. I don't know. You, Bernice, what color do you think? Because I could do it in black so it shows up more. I have brown, I have silver, I have gold. I have rose gold. So let me know what color you want because I have so many colors of wire and I can do any color you want. Hi, Nini. Uh, black. Okay, let's do it. And then it's going to be easier to see. So black wire, 20 gauge. The, uh, this is art, the artistic copper wire from Beetle On. And don't forget I'm doing a live stream with Beetle On tomorrow on their Facebook page. So just go to Facebook, look up Beetle On, B-E-A-D-A-L-O-N, and go to their Facebook page, click the notifications, and I'll be live there at two o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday, that's tomorrow, which will be the 26th of January. So. I'm excited. I've done a live stream with them before. I also did a sort of a designer competition thing with them before, which was super fun. I hope this wire is gonna be long enough. I really hope this is gonna be long enough. Last time I wasn't, it was too long. So, uh, Megalodon. Meg Megalodon. What's Megalodon? That sounds like a, that sounds like a Comic-Con thing like a video game character. So now I have to think, this one was more obvious where I started. This one, because this is all one continuous line. So in theory, you can just start at the nose and finish at the nose might be easier. Or if you want to start it around here and put, so it's more centered, because if you start at the nose, it's going to like hang underneath or you can hang it from here. I'm not sure weight wise what's going to be the best. So let's assume we're going to hang it, I guess, around here. We'll try it. Anyways, you can you can decide at when you make it at what, what place you want to hang it. But I think I'm going to start here to be sure. And I will just leave enough space for some of that stuff like to do. do, do, do. I'll just start at the eye. I, I tend to like to start at the eye. Prehistoric shark. Ooh, okay, cool. Nice. So now let's just do the eye. Okay, you can do the eye more round, more oval. I kind of want it to be a little more organic looking, but we're gonna see something. It's gonna end up looking a little bit more ovalish, but I mean, a little more round, but if you want it more ovally, sometimes round, round forms look a little bit too cartoony. So if you could try to get it look a little bit more ovally, it'll he'll look a little more menacing rather than too cute. And you don't want your shark to be too cute. So now we're gonna take that to here, bring them around. At least, like I said, this will give you an idea of the of the method. And then from there, you can figure out what details you wanna change. So now we're gonna bring that one around here and around here. And I will put photos of these in the community section later this afternoon. So you can have at least that as a template to trace until I actually get around to making templates. So we've got that. I'm going to bring that one down and then I have to organize some more of my uh, bookmark challenge videos. So I just have to do all the editing. I've filmed them all. It's just a matter of like getting them all uh, edited and ready to go. So then I upload one a day. So the next one is all set. Day four is all set. If you want to hop over to the Heather Boyd art channel and uh, click waiting for tomorrow's premiere and I would see you on the premiere of that at 11 a.m. every day so that's fun now we could sharpen this up sharpen up the end a little bit 
You could even like flip it a little bit on its, like rotate it on its side so it's a little sharper. I'll, sh I'll show you for the fins how to make it even more sharp. So we're just going to take this one here and then you can also do teeth. See how I did that? You can do teeth in here if you like. I'm doing it super simple, but if you wanna do the teeth, go for it. We're gonna bring this one around here. And then this one here. Now I'll show you if you wanna make it more sharp. Bring that one around. If you wanna make it more sharp, bend it on itself because if you bend it like that, it's a softer curve. But if you take this and then bend it back on itself, we're gonna bend this towards the front. So just take that and bend it back on itself. And you will see once you push it and then you open it up, see how much sharper that curve is. So if you want a sharp pointy curve, especially for the shark, you're gonna do that. So we're gonna take that and then you can curve this out here. Bring that one around. Make sure this lines up the best you can. If you're following the pattern. And then we're going to bend this one this way. Line it up. Bend that one way. And around. So back on the template. And around. pretty soft so you can you can manipulate it pretty well and then hold it where you want to bend it bend it this way and around there and the same thing if you want this to be sharp we're going to bend it on it back on itself so take this bend it back on itself pinch it hold it and curve it around back on the template. Make sure we can see this. Back over here. And then we're gonna bend it to the back this time because we bent the other one to the front. Make sure I'm not missing any comments. Hi, Connie. Watch it. A grandma's on a Friday. Oh, this was for <laughs> Jaws. That's so funny. Uh, I first watched Jaws on a black and white TV. Oh yeah, black and white would be better. Then you wouldn't see all the gore. Okay, so now we are going to adjust this, curve it out a little more if you need to. This one to adjust it how you want to follow the template a little bit. And I probably saw it on TV to tell you, yeah, now that I think about it. So we're gonna bring this one around here. And the one movie I do remember seeing in the theater was uh, Star Wars when I was in grade six. I was 11 years old and I remember my first date was going to see Star Wars at the theater. We sat in the back and ate uh, goodies. Do you know what goodies are? They're like little licorice cylinder things that black licorice inside a candy coating. I used to love those. So we get these ginormous bags of goodies and eat those at the back of the theater. So that was fun. So now we're going to bring this one around here. And from here we want to do this section. So we're going to bend this in. Uh, this one should be to the front. Yeah, this one should be to the front. So I'm gonna bring, bring this one around. Oopsies, these are, these are long. So this should be to the front. We're gonna check this again. Bring this one, curve it in. Sounds yummy, yeah. Good, good and plenty. Oh, interesting. I haven't had one in years. A lot of people don't like black licorice, but I used to love those and licorice all sorts. My dad used to love licorice all sorts and we would buy them for him. 
for Christmas. And I used to love those, most of them, I think. And then they had some with like a little jelly inside and little, little beady looking candies on the outside. Those were good. But yeah, I used to love those licorice, all, all sorts. I was definitely a black licorice fan. Anise, that flavor, I even love that flavor today. It's so good. Okay, so we're gonna take this and bend this one. Bend that to the back, I guess. Front, back, front, back. Front, I guess. So we're gonna bring that and we're gonna bend that to the front. It's looking good. Yeah, it really helps doing those bends to the front and back. It gives it a nice sharp look here. So we're gonna bring this one around and so that's that guy. Oh no, we want to bring this one to the back now. Okay, we're gonna bring that one to the back. I can make myself sick on good and plenty. <laughs> well, if I can't visit you, we'll buy a bag of them and share them. Maybe not the whole bag, we'll share them with your whole family because I think I would only want one or two. I don't think I could eat that many right now. Yeah, so we're gonna take this I'm pretty good at moderation these days. I used to be not so good when I was younger. My mom used to make Nanaimo bars and I could scarf down seven of those things and feel extremely ill after, but they were delicious. Okay, so now, that was before Nanaimo bars were a thing. Now you can buy them anywhere. And even M&M, that frozen food co company, makes um, Nanaimo bars, but my mom used to make them for, and when she, her and my dad played in an orchestra and they used to bring those uh, Nanaimo bars to the orchestra concerts and stuff. I remember them very well. Okay, so here's Shark so far. Twizzlers, oh yeah, Red's good too, yeah. <laughs> That's how we talked about candy on the live streams. Okay, so now we're back. Let's have a look at these. This is how, how, what are we gonna do here? So I think what I'm gonna do is bring this one up. I'm gonna finish it up here. It might, actually, I'm thinking it might be top heavy if we do that. Yeah, it might be top heavy. So I'm not, I'm gonna do something else, I think. So we're gonna take this. You guys can maybe experiment with that, but let's, let's get, make sure this is lined up from there to there. Now we're gonna form the fin. So let's take this one and bring it up. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little worried if I put the top there, it's gonna be a little heavy and fall back. So let's just try it like this. Go here and then we're gonna bend this one to the front. So bend that guy to the front on itself. Okay, give it a good little pinch, hold that, and curve it out. Okay, so there, that looks pretty good. So question now, how the heck are we gonna finish it? So that's always the fun part. So make sure this is in the right position. Mm-hmm. And bring that one around, hold that there, hold this one here. Make sure it's still looking pretty proportional. Looks pretty good. And then we're going to take this and bend it down. So we're gonna take this guy, hold it, curve it around, and do these gills or whatever you call them. So we're gonna take this one and bend it back on itself as we've done before. So, uh, traveled all over the, this, oh wow, with your school's orchestra, that's awesome, very cool. Were you a conductor or a musician or both? My mom plays, played the cello, she can't play anymore, but she used to play the cello and my dad played violin and they played in orchestras for years and they played in string quartets and my mom taught and she uh, was um, did weddings and stuff with her quartet yeah she uh, she was an amazing musician she went back to school when she was in her 50s 
to get her music degree because when she was a kid, her mom didn't let her study that at school. She went, she went into nursing. So she went back to school in her 50s, got her bachelor of music, and um, yeah, it was really nice that she was able to do that. So now we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do one more of these gills. I maybe should have put it them put them closer together, but that's what I got right now. So we're gonna do these, and then one more. I don't think I need this now. Cat, yay, Cat's here, hi Cat. So, Cat, we're making sharks for Bernice. So that's the situation right now. And Cat, let me know if you're doing the bookmark challenge because that's fun. We're on we're on day four to tomorrow. So now, see what we've got? We've got this and this, and then you're like, well, how do we attach them? And that's a good question because now I'm wondering if we should just attach them up here. I don't know how that, let me just experiment. Like say we have equal amounts of wire on either side about, I'm just gonna see how it's gonna hang. If I hold it up like this, oh, it's pretty good. I think it's gonna hang well. So why don't we do that instead? So I'm going to actually take this, because otherwise I'm not sure where we're gonna hang it. That's the thing. So if we take this here and we can, let me just think for a sec. I think it's be going to be better to finish it at the top, or we could finish it there. Mm hmm. So we're going to just take this. That's when my brain stops working. Okay. So now we're going to put this here. And um, this one, yeah, that one goes that way. So let's just say where if this one goes here. And that one goes there. This one would have to bend up. That's where you want to measure it. So we're going to just take this. This one goes here. And this one's going to have to measure a stick up about here. So we're going to take this and bend that one up. So in that situation, we would open this one up a little more. I'm actually going to open, I'm going to get my other pliers. Okay, uh, duets, cool, oh, nice. I'm missing some of these comments. Uh, choir, nice, nice. There we go, so we're gonna take this, and I wish I could sing, but I cannot. Mimi's a good singer, but I am not a good singer. So now we're gonna take this, and this has to curve out this way. And then this one, then we have to just decide how we're going to finish this at the top. So I think the best way is going to be to bend this one around here. Got a little bit mangled because I bent it, you know, the wrong way. But I'm going to take this and just, and then we're going to have to be able to like, leave a space in there because you want to latch it together with the other wire so it's going to hold in the right position. So. I've just done a little twist there, but I've left it slightly open. Now we're going to adjust this, uh, this thing here. Let's see what position this has to be in. So this one actually has to be pushed over a little bit more. So this one will actually maybe have to go up a little more. Yeah, we're gonna have to adjust it a bit. I'm not sure it's in the right position because this, we need a little bit more space. Maybe that, maybe I bent that in the wrong place, although it's not awful. I think that just has to be a little bit less. Bring that one up here. Yeah, that's pretty good like that. So if we're gonna do that, hold it in place. I'm gonna bend it that way. I'm gonna do a loop. And then we want to bend it to the front because that's how you're going to hang it up. We're going to remove this and then we're going to hold that up in place, bring it around to the back. And then we want to loop it in between these two wires here. 
don't know if that's in the right position. So we just, it's just, you want to just grab it in between those two wires so it won't wiggle back and forth because otherwise it's going to be wiggling back and forth and it's not going to work. So we just caught that one in there. Okay, so now we're going to take this. We'll take a sip. Okay. Yeah, we have to make choices sometimes based on, you know, making a living and stuff. I've always been lucky to be able to make somewhat of a living with my art. And when I wasn't making a living with my art, I would do house cleaning and working in the daycare and stuff like that. And, um, but never doing something that would take away my energy for doing art. So now I'm lucky I could do it full time. So here is our shark. Looked, looks really good. I think the design is good. And I'll put pictures in the community section. So I'll show you what we have, what we made. So we have this guy and this guy and this guy. So let me know what's your favorite. I will post pictures in the community section. Here they are. And I'm going to flip my screen and say goodbye. So thank you. Love it. Awesome. Amazing. So thank you, Bernice, for the great suggestion. I'll have to see what I could do about a hammerhead shark. I'm going to flip the screen and say goodbye. So there we go. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hop over to the Beadle on Facebook page, like the page, click the notifications, and I will go live there tomorrow at 2 o'clock in the afternoon eastern time and we have the 10 day bookmark making challenge so hop over to heather boyd art participate in that and we'll be doing a 10 day challenge in the wire group probably in february so thanks guys so much for watching thank you amber so much for moderating i don't think i saw clarice today i'm not sure she's usually here but um if i missed i missed your comment clarice i'm so sorry i don't think you're here today but usually Clarice is here moderating as well so have a great rest of the afternoon a great night and we'll see you guys the next time bye oh I have to do my um I forgot I have to do my photo for the uh, thumbnail so should I take this thing off I don't know this is this is a funny little shirt it's not like a cowl neck thing but I like it I bought it at Arden and there's my bike thing so I will just do a shot for the thumbnail big smile and we'll see you guys the next time it's a real smile though i'm happy this is fun hard being uh, photogenic for a thumbnail but i will see you guys the next time love your shirt thank you and we'll see you soon bye